What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few games that are coming out in 2020 that honestly I am really excited for. Let's get right into this. Okay, so usually at the beginning of each year, I see what games are coming out, what games have been announced, and I try to plan out the new games I'm going to purchase for the year, hopefully early on, uh, because I buy my games usually on budget, um, usually whenever they come on sale, so I decide what games are coming out that I really want, and I decide which games I'm going to get early on in the year, just because for me... Number one, I can't go and buy a game that's brand new, that's $80, because I live in Canada, and a new game costs $80. I can't afford that, and I can't justify paying $80 for a game, but usually I'll get them on sale, hopefully 50% off for most of these, but some of them might not be released as a $50 game, some of them might be a little bit cheaper, but I do this every year, and it makes it easier for me to decide what games I'm going to get. If I plan ahead of time what games I really want, and I kind of break it down like that. So up first for my list is Fast and the Furious Crossroads. Now for me, first thing that I want to mention is normally I am not a fan of movies that turn into video games or vice versa, video games that turn into movies because normally for me, from what I've seen in the past, they don't come out right and honestly they're not really that good. However, I have high hopes for Fast and the Furious because number one, Fast and the Furious is one of my favorite franchises of all time whenever it comes to movies. I liked the earlier movies a little bit more because it focused on racing and the car customization and the street racing aspect to the story. And of course, the later movies are more on action and it's going all over the world with the group. So it does get very interesting and it makes me wonder for the video game whether or not they're going to have it focus on pretty much the whole storyline of The Fast and the Furious where it starts off kind of more street racing and then it gets into more of the um, action-packed stuff, or if it's just going to be one or the other, so that's going to be interesting for me. It does get released on May 9th, which is really close to my birthday, so hopefully over the summer it'll be included in one of the summer sales, or in the spring, over Labor Day maybe, sorry I meant to say fall, over fall for the Labor Day, maybe that'd be interesting if it's on sale then, or if not, like Black Friday or Christmas, I'm sure it will be on sale around then, because more, normally games that came out that year that were released, Normally Black Friday and Christmas, they're guaranteed to be on, at least at one of those sales. The other thing that I find interesting about Fast and the Furious game is the creators that helped create the Fast and the Furious game, they had a huge role in the Project Cars series, which is one of my favorite racing games on the PlayStation 4. It is more on track racing, but normally I'm not into that, but the mechanics and the racing of the game is awesome so that's why I really love the Project Cars series and the other thing is they also worked on a few Need for Speed games which I'm a huge fan of. I try to get Need for Speed every time one comes out normally Black Friday or Christmas whenever it's on sale that's whenever I purchase them but I love customizing vehicles I love racing games so with them being on Project Cars and Need for Speed games of the past having them create Fast and the Furious it seems like it's going to be very interesting, and I already know the actors and the characters that are in The Fast and the Furious are in the video game, so their character is actually scanned into the game, so that's going to be pretty awesome for me. The one thing I'm really hoping they do, however, with this game is a tribute to Paul Walker and have Paul Walker in the video game. I think that would be amazing, so I don't know if they're going to basically tell the story of Fast and the Furious throughout the movies in the video game. Or if it's going to be basically doing new things outside of the film, everything that's happened in the film, like a new story or try to do something new, or if they're going to be doing something else. So I'm really expecting a lot for this game. I have high hopes for it, and I'm really excited. It comes out May 9th. The next game that I'm really excited for is the Marvel's Avengers. Now this comes out May 15th, and I'm really excited for it because of the success of the Spider-Man game. And with the way that I think Marvel is going to continue to go in the future, I think they're going to be focusing more and more on video games to come. Because, let's face it, the success of Spider-Man was awesome. The story was intense. It was a short game, but the story was amazing. The mechanics were awesome. The web-slinging abilities were phenomenal. And I actually had a blast 
with this game. And it was, I can't remember where exactly it is, but I think it was one of the top 10 most sold games on the PS4. And that only came out at the end of 2018. So within a year to make it to the top 10 games sold on the PS4 says a lot right there. So I think with the success of that, I think Marvel is going to be doing more video games in the future. And having the Avengers is very interesting. I feel like they're going to focus on the main four, the Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America. But I hope they have a few others in it as well. I'm hoping to see Nick Fury. I think that would be awesome. Maybe some more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Hawkeye, and a few others. But I'm, I'm assuming they're definitely going to have the main four in it. Now, I think there's been trailers and announcements and a lot of stuff mentioning about the game and who's in it. I haven't watched any of that. I honestly want it to be more of a surprise for me because I had such a blast with Marvel's Spider-Man. I'm assuming the Avengers is going to be an amazing game. And I don't know if it's going to be as open world as uh, Spider-Man was. Spider-Man, you could explore most of the city, all of New York, and do anything you want. They had a lot of side things you had to do or could do, so I'm hoping they follow the same route as Spider-Man did with the Avengers game, but again, we won't know until it comes out, until we start playing it, so I'm really excited for it, it comes out May 15th, it honestly, because of Spider-Man, I have high hopes for it, and I think it's going to be a great game, I'm assuming it's going to be, why wouldn't it be, and also I'm a huge fan of Marvel, so I'm really excited to see what happens. Next is a game that, the next two games actually, uh, do not have a specific release date for 2020. They've just been announced for 2020. One is apparently supposed to be over the summer and one is supposed to be in later 2020. But again, there's no exact release dates. Up first is Fight Night 2020. Now, I honestly love fighting games. This is a boxing game, of course. I had a blast with UFC 2 and UFC 3 on the PlayStation 4. I absolutely love those games. And I loved playing with friends and getting to beat them or occasionally get my ass kicked. But I honestly love those fighting games. I'm more into MMA now because there's a lot more you can do. A lot more ground and pound, submission work, a lot more moves that are crazy to do. And a lot more power behind them, I feel. But I still loved Fight Night back on the PS3. I still have my copy, actually, um, in my PS3 physical games that I have, which I don't have too many left. I love the game so much that I just decided never to get rid of it. So it's a great game. I love it. The career mode was awesome for it. So Fight Night 2020, I'm hoping it's going to be awesome just like the other game I had for the PS3 was. I don't think they made a Fight Night game since then, so I'm really excited to see with the mechanics that they have today what is going to be advanced for the mechanics of the game. Also, who is going to be in the game. I'm really hoping Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, I'm hoping for a few others like Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm really excited to see who they include in the game. I'm assuming they're going to include Legends of the Past and also Current Stars. And I'm really, I honestly can't wait. I love fighting games. Again, this is something that I'm hoping to play with my friends. Uh, hopefully me and Jack can get in on it if I buy it digitally. And I can knock him out on that game just like I do in UFC 3. So that's going to be really exciting for me. And I can't wait for it to come out since I just honestly heard yesterday that it was announced. I knew I had to include it in this video. And the last game on this list, which I just found out because I looked it up earlier today to see what games are coming out in 2020, just to see if there's any I could add to this video. And the last one I'm really excited for, which also has no specific release date for this year, is Little Nightmares 2. This was an indie game that I believe was originally on Steam. It made its way over to the PS4. And I absolutely loved the game, the Little Nightmares game. I bought that back in, oh geez, I want to say middle to early 2018. Um, I played it right away. It was a lot of fun. The story was interesting. And basically by playing it, you took on your own perspective. By playing it, you felt like you were a little kid. You were the good guy. And these big monsters, these ugly looking creatures are the bad guy and they're trying to kill you. They're trying to eat you, which I believe was true in some sense. But the, at the end of the game, it took a twist where it seems like you were actually this whole time the bad guy and you were just trying to kill them. Basically, by playing it, you have... You, you take on the perspective. You don't get told what actually is happening. By playing the game, you feel it and you think 
how you want. So that's how I portrayed the first game is you make your way seeming like you're a good guy and at the end you turn out to be the bad guy. Now I don't know if that's true. I think that's how they decided to play the game. So uh, to make you think of the ending of how you want it to be instead of them just telling you this is how the game ends. So I thought that was crazy. And whatever I just found out today that Little Nightmares 2 is coming out in 2020. I'm ready for it. I had a blast with the first one. I'm hoping it's going to be hopefully a different story within the same world with these ugly looking creatures. I'm really hoping that it continues that. I really would rather not see a continuation of, of the first game. Just kind of uh, new characters within the world and trying to see what they do to see whether or not I feel the same way like I did for the first one where you're playing as the bad guy but it makes you seem like you're the good guy at the beginning of the game. I think that would be awesome. And of course, Little Nightmares has the uh, comic book because it originally started as a comic book online, so you can go and read it there. And so I don't know if this is going to be tying into the comic book of the later issues or something like that, but it's definitely a game that I love the design of it. I love the arts, uh, the whole feel of the game, how it feels like a horror-based game. But it's all on perspective, my opinion. It depends on how you portray your character and how you portray these so-called bad guys to see. To me, it seems like they're on a ship and they're trying to live and they see you as food, but it turns out you were a bad guy at the end. That's how I portrayed the game. So the game has many outcomes. The trophy list on it is very cryptic. It doesn't tell you exactly what to do. You basically have to... Either do a walkthrough online and find out because people will tell you exactly how to get the trophies or you just stumble upon them. So the game's a lot of fun. It's kind of a mystery trying to solve to see what your character is actually all about and you find out usually at the game, end of the game. So I can't wait. So these are the four games that I'm really excited for for 2020. Of course, there's going to be more games like WWE I get every year. So if 2K does end up making the next WWE game, I plan on getting it because I get the new game every year to add to my collection. I have the past 16 or 17 years straight without missing a year. But after 2K20, with everything that happened there, the rumor as of right now is that 2K is not making the next game and nothing's been announced as of the time I'm making this video. So we shall see. So definitely Fast and the Furious, Marvel's Avengers, Fight Night 2020, and Little Nightmares are on my list for 2020, and I'm really excited to get the opportunity to play them and see how I like them. I like those video games. They seem like they're going to be interesting, so I can't wait to try it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what games that have been announced for 2020 are you more excited for, and which games for 2020 are you planning on getting. And I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.